Hi, everyone. Welcome to my chakra balancing series with tapping. I'm your host, Helen McConnell. By listening to this recording, you agree to the terms located at HelenMcConnell.com forward slash disclaimer. Today, we're going to be tapping on the second chakra, also known as the sacral chakra or Svadhisthana in Sanskrit. The sacral chakra represents feelings, sensations, pleasure, sexuality, creativity, imagination, and flexibility, both physical and emotional flexibility. It's located below the navel at the lower abdomen, above the first chakra, and it's developed between the ages of six months and two years old when we're learning to crawl and walk and are exploring our sensate world. Some of the emotional issues associated with the second chakra are a sense of abundance, well-being, pleasure, and sexuality, or the lack thereof. So balance in, in this chakra is important so that we have balance in, our, uh, in the areas of abundance, well-being, pleasure, and sexuality. We don't want to go overboard on any of those things. This chakra connects us to the flow of the world. When the sacral chakra is out of balance or wounded, it might show up as rigidity, anxiety, promiscuity, alcohol or drug addiction, dependency, codependency, kidney problems, gynecological problems, being ruled by your emotions, or the opposite, numbing out. And there are other symptoms that have to do with uh, this second chakra. Anything that would have to do with feeling as a human in this world. An open and balanced sacral chakra is important for living a balanced, healthy, and prosperous life. So this is the chakra most associated with prosperity. Not the only one, but mostly. If the sacral chakra is closed or in, out of balance, it can shut you off from opportunities and stifle your creativity. The, sh the second chakra is associated with the color orange, which represents energy, creativity, and pleasure. The cool thing is that when we tap this sacral chakra balancing protocol, we don't have to know if we have wounding in this area. The balancing will begin to occur the first time you use this, and as you tap and hear the words, you'll begin to get some idea of what's related to this uh, sacral chakra. And you'll just know if, if you need some balancing there. You can use this protocol over and over, and this is just the short version, okay? So focus on that physical location of the sacral chakra, like I said, below your, your navel and above your pelvic floor. And for uh, ideal balancing, hold an orange crystal or stone. I recommend uh, an orange carnelian because it's beneficial for both an underactive or an overactive sacral chakra. As you hold that stone, uh, tap on the side of your hand and repeat after me each of these phrases. Even though I've experienced many events, that have wreaked havoc on my system. I love and accept myself and my body. And still tapping on the side of the hand, even though many of these events happened when I was too young to realize what was going on. I love and accept myself. And I forgive myself and anyone else involved. And still tapping on the side of the hand, even though I've been operating from false beliefs, trauma, and second chakra wounds, I love and accept myself. And I choose now to return to wholeness and balance. And now we're going to tap around the points. You can follow along and repeat after me. We'll start at the top of the head. Despite events that have come before, 
on the eyebrow. I reclaim my innate right to feel and to experience pleasure in healthy ways. In this body, in this lifetime, on this earth. Without the use of alcohol or drugs. I no longer have to be rigid in body, mind, or spirit. I choose to be in the flow. And although I may have been rejected in some form or another, I no longer have to reject others with my judgment of them. I forgive myself for allowing myself to be rejected. I was too young to know better. I reclaim my innate right to have connection. with others and with the flow of life. I no longer have to settle for less than I deserve. I reclaim my right to have beneficial and healthy desires and needs. I reclaim my right to experience movement, emotion and sexuality in healthy ways. I'm choosing to nurture myself in ways I wasn't nurtured as a child. I can reparent myself from within. In all the ways I've been needing. I have the power to reflect back to myself my own brilliance. I no longer need to be manipulated or to manipulate others. And I'm now free to express in healthy ways my true characteristics that I've had to hide away. All my exuberance or even my quietness. My silliness or my boldness. whatever is the essence of me. Now take a nice deep breath in and out and notice if you recall any additional thoughts, images, memories, feelings, or sensations that came up while we tap that and go ahead and make a note of those if you remember them. They may need to be tapped on later. If you've enjoyed this uh, second chakra tapping and you're enjoying this series, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified when the next one's available. Or you can go to my website, HelenMcConnell.com, and sign up to receive my e-newsletter. I'll also keep you notified of, of other events and things that are happening in the tapping world. Here's to your balanced energy and your wonderful, amazing life.